Hey, this is Duke Apples, and welcome back to Bloodborne. And well, we just beat, completely beat, our level s level depth 5 dungeon. And there's, we just got another dungeon chalice, so this adventure is still going. So I'm just going to go ahead and warp home, spend my bloods, and we'll be back into the next dungeon. To the great coming through layer, whatever. <clears throat> this is a depth five dungeon, and could be pretty close to coming into the end of these uh, chalice dungeons, because this this uh, particular dungeon required a really rare material that I missed in like as rare as the blood rock. So I had to go back and collect it to get into this dungeon. First of all, wow. All right. Let's do it. This could be the last one. You know, unless there's a super secret depth 6. I have no idea how long this is going to keep going. <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Gosh. But, I'm damn determined to beat Bloodborne today. It's okay. <clears throat> Great ambush. I nearly died. Okay, I can't be making fun of this game. It's a nice game. I mean, this is back to looking like a standard dungeon design. Alright, do we have a big threat in this room? I hear something dangerous. Hey, guy. Found a shack gun? So far, this dungeon has been pretty tame. It doesn't even look cool. Remember that last dungeon? That looked fucking phenomenally cool, in my opinion. Um. Well, this is just pretty much a dead end. Fear ambush. For, uh. Okay. It's about to say one guy in the corner with a shotgun is not an ambush, but I got gotcha. you. There's a trap on the ground. I was afraid of this. Oh, oh, you can't just stand up ignoring that attack and then hit me ignoring all future attacks. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, 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 oh. Can we talk about how that last dungeon drained me from like nearly 60 insight to our now 7 insight? That is an insane loss of insight. Guess it just shows how tough that dungeon layer was. Ah, to be fair, a lot of it, like a good 30 of it, was drained. Yeah, layer ones typically are not that big. And I can already tell that it's already looping around on itself. Oh, to be fair, this is the pre section. Typically, you don't have pre sections. I see the trap. Oh! Oh, I get it. This is the Plumlithalu Chalice. So basically, this is going to be just like the first three chalices. You know, except for the highest tier of difficulty. Highest tier of difficulty so far. But I understand, like, why the enemies are pretty standard again, and why the... Why the... Uh, um... Lost my train of thought. There's a big guy over there. Why the dungeon looks pretty normalized again. Not all cool. Oh. Well, no point of trying to visceral attack on this guy. He's got a shotgun. Or a bunderbluss, I guess that's what you would call it. I do hit hard. I've just been dumping all my points into damage. Ever since we started these dungeons, I have literally not spent another point into HP or into stamina. I've been all dumping it into damage. I think I've taken my strength up from like 20 to nearly 50 now. That's where I spent my 30 levels. I even got my skill up from like... It's novice nothing to uh, I think 25 is where I left it off at. No. Get extra damage with visceral attacks, which I have not been performing. Have I been in this room before? I don't think so. Or have I? Yes. Fuck. Oh. If it's just two doors, then I think we're done completely with this pre-section. Yeah, 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 We're completely done. Let's head into our dungeon proper. Didn't I just get more ritual material? If this was the last chalice dungeon, then I don't think that it would be giving us ritual material anymore. Like, this would be, like, all the good stuff. Like, all the weapons and shit. Well, also, to be fair, you know... If you wanted to play this game endlessly, you'd want, like, root chalice dungeons, and you'd probably need a lot of rare materials for that, too. Uh, actually, no, I was just sliding it. Alright, dungeon proper. And try to be. Ooh, right off the bat, huh? Sorry if y'all can't see what's going on all that well. Whoa! I didn't want to do that. I'm turned back on the light source. <laughs> can't have the light source and the um, gun equipped. Though I think there's an item that allows you to do just that, though. Oh, shit. I have to go repair a weapon. I put a gem in that increases the attack power a bit, but it had like a big negative to um, weapon durability. 
And I was like, well, that could either be, you know, a big drain or not. But, like, I haven't even gotten but one extra section, and at the very beginning of the dungeon proper, the weapon is already at risk. Uh, wow, yeah, it's draining way too fast. I need to switch back over to it. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck. I did not see that coming. I'm just not gonna say anything. I'm just not gonna say anything. Really, that's all it's charged in the last four hours? Man, what an, I nearly fucking died to this shit again. How fucking stupid. Like, traps are more dangerous than ever, my good sir. Ooh, this looks different. Ow. Oh, we've only seen this tile once before. Let's clear out this room. Oh, shit. Fuck. Fuck. I just gotta keep working, keep working. All right, of course. The stupid ambushers from a, a top is gonna constantly be bringing down darts on my head. And then this fucking guy. Oh, fuck me. Come on, we need visceral attacks. Maybe a little bit later. Yeah. Until it land. Hit almost lands. Alright, continue exploring. Ooh, good ritual. Good ritual, my boy. If there's any other path, yes, there is a room. I recognize this tile as one of the connecting tiles to that room specifically. Oh. This tile. This is just layer one. I was commenting how layer one is typically small. But this one's a pretty good size. Wait, 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 did I just go in a fucking circle? Or is that the new path to go? Is there a treasure in the middle of this room? Is there a secret path? Yeah, despicable old labyrinth. Damn. I don't think there's anything here. Well, dang. Not even a treasure chest for coming out this way. Alright, let's go into our door. Make sure there's nothing over here. I don't think there's anything over here. Trap on the ground. We got an invisible woman. She may not be on this floor, though. Alright, one way in. And we have a ladder. Oh, invisible lady's definitely up here on this floor. Somewhere. 
She's holding her breath for the sneak attack. One door. Two doors. This tile again? Oh, okay. This is the upstairs. This is the upstairs of the first room. And there's no doors on the side. There's a door in the center. No, that's the way I came in. No doors, huh? <laughs> Interesting. Oh, there she is. Where were you hiding? I was up here ready for you the whole time. The whole time. Okay. This was predictable. Let me kill those dart throwing dickholes. This is the dead end that reaches across. Though it could have a concealed hallway. It don't. There's another path over here. This could be the switch. Oof. Didn't want to get visceraled? I don't blame you, but... Kind of not your choice, my boy. Oh my goodness. I could die if these visceral attacks don't land. Yes, I don't have to do visceral attacks. I could just kick his ass, I guess. There's no fun in that. Like, if I wasn't taking risks, what fun would this playthrough even be? I'm not sure where the boss door is, but like in all dungeons, I'm sure it's just right next to the entrance. No big deal. And I'm pretty sure I've explored everything here, too. Since that switch was like the last thing I found. What did the note say? It didn't say anything about a concealed door. Alright. I totally forgot the map in my brain. Uh oh Well, there we go. There we go. I have a lot of bloods though. Extra section chick eh? Well, totally missed the mob. He just looks like the walls. Oh man, why does it gotta be this big room? I ain't about this big room life. Go away. Shoo. Shoo fly. Don't bother me. Oh shit, it's got a bridge? That's new? That's new? Ah, there's a hunter in here, huh? There typically is a hunter. Molotov camp tails. Oh, 
You got a good hit on me. Got to heal up. Oh! Ooh! Nice hit, my boy. Use terrain, I will. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oof. I'm not over here visceral attacking you, my friends. You didn't have to do that to me. I thought we were cool. I sit on top of a mountain alone. No hunters can challenge me. I just had the one ladder up? Really? Oh. That's cool. Well, I'm gonna go up first. I guess check out, make sure I didn't miss anything over here. Because you know I did. I am so, so tired of Chalice Dungeons. I'm so tired of them. I pray this is the last one. Super, extremely rare material to get to this one, so I praise. Oh, this one's just gonna go straight across, huh? Coming up to our... Ooh. Oh, this is a drawbridge. Ha ha ha. I'm not going to forget to get both cannon guys this time. Fuck. Why does it have to be big room after big room after big room? Can we not? Can we not do this? Yeah, all right, let's go over here first. Treasure chest, yes. And a big threat to deal with. I haven't really been calling them big threats because ever since I beat the uh, half health hell, it really hasn't felt like a big threat anymore. It's got a Bunderbluss. Oh, he's got a club, huh? Oof! I was just gonna let him take a shot. I didn't know that he was gonna pull out a different weapon. Alright. Ooh, you're tucked away in the corner, huh? Is that working out for you? Did you did your ambush plan win? Did you win? Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you guys next time.